Hey, it's Steve here. Welcome to Hardtail Life. The focus of today is how to get the most out of your phone photos while you are riding. Let's go. All right, we are so lucky today to be joined by, oh. Uh, Sorry. Um, we are joined today by, of course, my lovely Meg here and the wonderful Jacqueline. <laughs> Quickly, Jacqueline, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I probably should have thought about what I was going to say, you know. Hi, my name's Jacqueline. I'm from Essential Cycles. I love mountain biking. My goal in life is to get more people stoked on mountain biking and to do it in a safe environment uh, so that you also are more stoked about riding your bike. So many words are stoked in there, right? She's a badass coach, <laughs> super friendly, but will bust your ass if you're being lazy. Okay, give me the camera. Burpees. I don't even know what a burpee, how to do a proper burpee. Oh, downhill burpees. These are going to suck. Yeah, up we go. Right. And if you want a bonus, you can do a push up in there. Bounce up and back. Okay. All right, I'm done. Now give me five more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just and we're loop, done. We're can done. we loop this video? <laughs> yeah. All right, so the first feature we're gonna do is this wooden ladder bridge, fairly flat, pretty easy to ride, and has lots of potential. Let's go see what we can do. Okay, okay I got two photos there. Okay. Let's check them out. Um, so what do you think? It's not very exciting, right? Except for obviously Meg's. Um, <laughs> but I feel like we could definitely make her look like so much more badass in this scene. One thing we can do is uh, instead of like a back shot, people love faces and stuff. So maybe we'll just get her riding the other way. But yeah. also like it doesn't capture just how beautiful this little spot is. Maybe just adjust where we're standing. So it's very easy for us to just take our phones and to shoot at our most natural position, but that's also the most boring because we all see that, right? We'll like get down lower to accentuate the trees and kind of have more of the background, like you said. Mm -hmm. And if you have a wider angle lens, maybe we can try that too, to even more accentuate the differences between the foreground, mid yep. and background. So another thing you can do is if you have the option, we're not black. If you're wearing all black, then it's easy to kind of blend in with the shadow. So if you have the option, remove the black layer, wear something bright and cheerful and fun. <laughs> Okay, so you can see the difference it makes by just adjusting how you shoot it with the phone. But Meg and I are going to shoot Jacqueline riding this and we'll see what we can do when we have a few more other things going for us. So let's go check that out. <laughs> all right, so that's it for this ladder bridge. But Jacqueline says we should ride to another feature and do it all over again. So sounds good. Let's do that. Continuing along, this trail's got so many roots. Where's the line? <laughs> this is the line. I'm gonna try it one more time. It's very steep. The entrance is kind of jank, but uh, hey, <laughs> we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, there we go. Dropping. So it's only a subtle difference, but can you see how you, you already have the nice aggressive stance on the front there, the elbows are bent, you're looking towards the exit and everything, but you see your legs. Okay. Uh, see how you're almost hugging the top tube of the bike. Okay. Um, and then if you scroll through to mine and you'll see in here how my legs are just that little bit more open and relaxed. Uh, and so it's just making the whole, image look a little bit more like I'm riding the bike rather than the bikes like just riding me a little bit. There's a meme there somewhere. <laughs> I know there is. So now right. if you want to go back and do it again and just think about really sinking into the back of the bike, dropping the heels. Okay. Cool. All right. We will try it. Okay, drop it. Tell me that doesn't look better than the first time around. Okay. Oh yeah. Yep. That looks better. 
yeah, you can see that even just with that, it's it's subtle, mm -hmm. um, but it does look a little bit more like you're in control of the bike. I mean, the run out needs some work, but that's also partly, that's also partly riding a hardtail ride. Like Editor Steve here. There are so many more little tips and tricks that I'm having a hard time fitting it all in the video in a concise way. So make sure you head over to the Essential Cycles blog where Jacqueline's got it all written up, organized, and with examples that we shot from that day. As a bonus, she also includes a tip on how to shoot videos of yourself when you're riding alone. So that is worth the read. And that's that. So hopefully with that knowledge, you can be a little more conscientious with the way you're shooting your photos the next time you're out riding. Anyways, if you're relatively new to mountain biking, but you love it and you wanna do it all the time, then you're in the right place. I'm eager to ride all the trails and to learn all the things. So make sure you subscribe and follow along on my mountain biking adventures. Thanks for watching and see you in the trails. Well, that was kind of spicy.